Okay, so now we're going to go over uh, about five of the five or six of the cues that you'll be able to give your dog to um, do rally and obedience maneuvers. So the first thing I'm going to explain to you is that this, if, when you ask your dog to sit, uh, most of the time they're it means that the dog needs to sit on the left side of you. So there's a difference between sit and front. A front is a front sit, and the sit is normally going to be on your left. The down also is going to be on your left, not in front of you. Uh, the front, again, is sitting in front of you. There's two types of finishes. There's a finish right, which I call the around. And a finish left is which I call the swing. So I know a lot of you have trained your dogs to sit and your dog knows how to sit in front of you very well, but we need the dog to be able to sit on the left hand side straight facing the same direction as you right there on the left hand side right there in that heel position. Also the down also should be on that left hand side, not in front of you, but on the left hand side facing the same direction. Um, I'll show you guys how to lure it if you um, have never done that before, how to, how to get him to start doing it. The front, I'll show you how to do the front. Also, how to train your dog to do a front instead of a sit. It's just, a, it's the same thing, but the dog's sitting in front of you and it's called a front. Right finish is the dog comes around your right side and ends up back into the heel position. The left finish is the dog comes, swings out of your left side and ends up back into heel. So I'm going to try to attempt to do this with my crazy dog and um, <laughs> she's a little bit uh, excitable, So, um, but I, I think you'll get the point. So I will um, move this sign and I'll get Rue ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is a, a sit on your left hand side. So with her, I've got to be able to um, get her walking a little bit. So uh, you're just going to get her in the heel position. Heel. And then you're going to ask her to sit. She is sitting, she's sitting crooked, which is what I don't want. I really would like her to sit more straight with me. Good, sit, stay, stay. So that's kind of how, how I like it, is her facing the same direction as me, but a little bit straighter. And then when I want to heal again, I'll say heal, girl. Now this time I'm going to do the down. all the way down, which is what you don't want, but um, you get the point. She is sat, she lied down, she's going the same direction as me. Um, and then when I wanted to get her up again, I'm going to say heel. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. So now there's a difference between a front and a sit. So if I want her to sit in front of me, I'm going to say front. If you guys don't know front, how you're going to do that is you're going to say the words front, sit, walk backwards about two steps, and um, say front, sit again. So it's going to look like this. Front, sit, good girl. And then give her a treat. Back backwards, front, sit, girl. Front, sit. You're going to do that about four times, and then on the fifth time, you're just going to say um, the word front, and they should automatically front. Front. Yes, good girl. Now the front, she should be a little bit closer to me. Front. Yes, good girl. But it should be enough that I can reach out and touch her. Front. Good front. So again, if your dog doesn't know, uh, if your dog doesn't know the word front, you'll say front sit. 
walk, um, feet walk a little bit, say front, sit, they're going to sit, front, sit, they're going to sit, and then about the fifth time you're just going to say front, and they should, good front, they should go ahead and sit when you say front. So um, right finish is, uh, I call it an around, and it's usually from a front. So you're going to um, get your dog into a heel. heel. You're going to be going front. And then the right finish is around and then back to heel position. So your dog goes around your right side, around, heel. Good girl. back into the heel position. So they swing out and then back into you. That's your left finish. It's going to be on your left side. So I'm going to get started a little bit further back here. And it's going to be from the front. Front. Swing. Heel. Good girl. from the side, sideways, front, swing, heel, front, swing, heel, okay, good girl, front, around, heel, good girl, sit, down, Okay, so um, another thing I want you guys to work on is um, automatic sits. So um, sometimes she'll do, sometimes she won't. When you guys, especially first year kids, when you guys stop, your dog should automatically sit. Good girl. And it should be on that left side. Hopefully she'll do it. So um, your dog should automatically sit as soon as you stop walking, um, and you you practice that at home. If you're working on your heel, once you stop, your dog should automatically sit. You shouldn't have to tell your dog to sit. But at first, obviously, you will have to because your dog doesn't know that. So train it, work on it. Um, that's all I've got for today, and have fun training, and again, don't overdo it, and have fun with your dog. Talk to you later. So I've talked about luring uh, to get your dog to be able to do the sit on the, and the down on the left-hand side. So all you need to do is, one thing, if your dog has never done it, you might have to hold them back. with that put a leash on them and then when you stop right before you get ready to stop you're going to say sit and hold back on that leash with your left hand just a little bit of tension and then when they sit over here you're going to give them a treat right there um, same thing for the down um, if you're going from a sit obviously you shouldn't have to have your leash there but you'll say down and then you might have to lure them down like this with food in your hands. So it might look like this. Sit and give them a treat and then down. Give them a treat with your left hand on that side. 
When you're introducing the, the swing finish and the right finish, or the around, sometimes to get your dog from that front position around your right side, you have to introduce movement first. So I step back with my right foot and I'll move my shoulders right for the right finish. So I'll be like this, around, and I'll step back with my right foot and move my right shoulders. So my dog thinks I'm going that way. So it'll let them be easier to move around you. Around, switch hands, and then try to give them a treat on this side when they get around. The swing is going to be, you're gonna introduce movement on your left side. So that's your left finish. You're gonna go swing, you're gonna step back with that left foot, move your left, move your shoulders to the left, swing, and then give them a treat once they get all the way around and back to heel. So those are the things I forgot to show you. Again, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments.